You know what? I feel like changing things up. The workbench has been here for years and I think it's time to put it on a little bit of an angle, give you guys a new view of the workshop. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section below, but you're not here to see the workshop. You're here to see some new RC stuff and this is pretty cool. This is the new Land Rover Series 2. It's a awesome RC model. And coming up in this video, I'm gonna show you what's inside the box, show you some of the scale detail that FMS is really well known for. And then we're gonna take this out for a drive. Yeah, I think that works out pretty good. So I've already unboxed the Land Rover. I didn't wanna put you guys through the rustling sounds of the unboxing and this is everything that you get in the kit now this is a 112 scale ready to run model and it is available in three different colors they're gonna have the yellow blue and green and I kind of like this green one I probably should have got that but anyway here's the truck itself we're gonna go over that a little bit closer you get the nicer radio this is a v5 from uh, the decal that they have on the bottom and it's got all the dip switches so you can go ahead and program your braking but the style of the radio is what we're used to seeing from FMS uh, instruction manual of course and then you get two caps so you get the extended cap for the rear of it that covers the bed area and then you get the short cap that just covers the cab I, I'm not sure which one I like let me know in the comments below which one you like and then the windshield is actually separate from it and it does have the little clear plastic on it so it doesn't get scratched in shipping and it just seems to pop into place they also give you a Phillips screwdriver with this it's about time uh, the little screws that are required to go and hold the cap down and then of course you get the USB charger and a box wrench and the battery is actually located in the car it's the usual 380 milliamp 7.4 volt lipo and uh you know what i gotta get this windshield on because it's bothering me that it's not on there it just snaps right into place there we go now let's take a closer look at the truck so the paintwork on the land rover is absolutely awesome they always do a great job with the finishing on their models and i think the proportions of the truck are pretty good i think they have to kind of shrink and push things around a little bit in order to get the rid of control equipment inside and i think over Overall, I think it's a pretty good representation of it. Maybe a little high up in the cab here. But anyway, I love the finish in the front. This metal etch grille is absolutely cool. It's got working LED headlights and turn signals and marker lights, the mirrors on the fenders, even with chrome mirror plates on the backside, not just the decal filler cap the doors of course open on this plenty of space in the bed i mean look how deep that thing is you could definitely load that up with some scale accessories the tailgate pops down i mean just awesome detail throughout this the tail lights light up and i believe it also has turn signals and some people love that on these some people don't another metal etched emblem out back the land rover emblem and then really soft mud flaps as well so these will probably move as dirt kicks them up be just a lot of fun to drive this thing the wheels and tires look a little bit large to me i think they use these off of their power wagon i think they use them for a couple other cars but uh, soft rubber tires and then just plastic front bumper. So the other awesome detail area here is obviously the interior. They've got a steering wheel that turns. There's a servo under the hood that turns that steering wheel. Cloth seats, lots of shifters, detail on the dashboard. I mean, just what you'd expect from FMS and you can go ahead, detail that up some more. Add a driver figure if you want to. So underneath you got the plastic frame rail chassis. There is your drivetrain. So nice looking scale axles, front and rear, metal universal drive shafts from the transmission to those axles. And even looks like ball bearings and universals up front. So that's pretty awesome. This is a shifting two speed transmission. So you have a high low, there is the shift servo. And then there's the uh, leaf spring suspension. And I was checking this out before and this seems pretty soft. So I'm excited to see how this little truck handles. It might handle a little bit better than some of the other FMS vehicles we've seen. Now let's pop the hood. And one thing I noticed about the hood, there's a little bit of a gap. So you're just gonna make sure all the wires are down to get that hood as low as possible. But look at all the stuff that they stuffed in there. There's your speed controller, your extra servo, the battery mounts right there and the on off switch is back here. So uh, you're really not gonna touch this stuff other than taking out your battery to charge it and using the on and off switch. Oh, actually there's a hood prop over here as well. Check that out, didn't notice that before very nice detail so of course we need to see this drive and i am going to go ahead and throw on the half cap and i'll see if i can find a nice picturesque trail to show it off
All right, guys, so I'm out at a different park today. I don't really come here that often, but I thought it'd be a good spot for this little adventure truck. And so far, I'm having a fun time just enjoying the scale look of it. As we thought, the suspension does look a little bouncy, but I bet you if you slow it down in video, it looked pretty awesome. So one thing I noticed when I started driving it was it didn't have a ton of steering. You have to dial in that dual rate just a little bit to get some more steering out of it. Once you do that, it's much better. Look at that tight turn. You just never miss an opportunity to get the tires wet. And the battery's pushing up on the hood a little bit and it's bothering me. Little climb, can we do it? It's muscling, oh, maybe low gear, let's switch it. Back it out, and no, we're just digging in on those tires. So I gotta give you the high speed, low speed comparison. That's low gear, and that's high gear. And no, I don't have a driver figure in here. If it doesn't come with it, I typically don't like to show it with one on the first video. Well guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again, FMS makes some great drivable scale models. They've got a lot of functionality to them, but when it comes down to it, they're drivable scale models. They're not ultra performers. And this adventure rig does look good. I'll have links in the video description below.